Well, welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. We've been spending some time sprucing up the backyard. Another big component of that is a little privacy there. Now, these homes were built with smaller fences, so we can take some lattice and extend the height line, giving us a little more added privacy to the backyard. Let's show you how it's done. I began this project by preparing the post that will anchor the lattice fence panels. I clamped the posts down to a pair of sawhorses. I went with a 4x4 pressure treated wood. This type of wood is designed to hold up nicely through both bad weather and cold temperatures. Next I measured the post and marked it at 7 feet. That is the height that I want the entire fence line to be once it's finished. Then it was time to do a little cutting. For this, I'm using the Craftsman V20 circular saw. Having a battery operated saw comes really in handy for projects like this. I'd like to thank our friends over at Ace Hardware for sponsoring the tools for this video. I'll add the links to those tools in the description below. Now once cut, I placed the post along the fence opposite of the existing post there. Then I marked the locations where I wanted to add an anchor to bolt it to be secure. Then it was back to the sawhorses to drill a hole using a countersink bit. I used a bit large enough to allow my fastener bolt to go flush inside the post and give it a very clean finished look. V20 impact driver, it's part of the same series as the saw will allow for battery swapping between the tools. After attaching two screws, it was on to the next post. In total, the fence will span about 30 feet. Once the posts were all in, it was back to the workshop to create the first panel. For this, I used a 4x8 sheet of lattice and framed it using 1x4s.
For framing, I had a chance to try out Craftsman's V20 cordless 18 gauge brad nailer. Now this was my first project using the nailer, but it worked out great. I found it to be easy to use and also was very responsive when nailing the frame together. I did an unboxing review of the nailer and I will add the link to that in the description below. Now, since it was my first time framing anything, I opted just to do straight flat cuts on the edges instead of cutting 45 degree angles. I may try to seam 45s together at some point in the future. Once the framing was done, I drilled the pilot holes, then countersinked them so that they would accept the head of the mounting screws. To hang the panels, I chose Spax's Power Lag wood screws. The Power Lags are rated for exterior use, and I really like that low profile washer head. It easily blends into the framing of the panels. Now, after completing the other side of the panel, it was time to head outside. I used two Bessie clamps to hold the panels in place. I would countersink the pilot hole, then secure it with a power lag five inch wood screw and repeat. It's day two and you can see we've got all the lattice panels up and they are stretched along the full fence line. Now it's time to get it painted. I used about a half dozen cans of Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch Ultra Spray Paint. I chose to stay with the Espresso color so that it would match the raised flower bed that I painted a few weeks ago. You can find the link to that project in the description below. After shaking up the cans and attaching the comfort grip, it was time to get painting. The Ultra Cover is a paint and primer combo. This reduces the number of steps, shortening your project time by nearly half.
The Ultra Cover is a paint and primer combo. This reduces the number of steps, shortening your painting time by nearly half. Like with other projects, you want to do even long strokes. I found that the paint went on nice and easy. The spray cans provided a pretty strong flow. Section by section, I repeated the process, and after finishing that last panel, I walked the full length of the gate, touching up and hitting any spots that I missed.
All right, well, as you can see, we finally finished the Privacy Lattice of Project. Turned out pretty nice. At some point in time over the next couple of weeks, I'll put some post caps on the ends of those posts just for a nice little finishing touch. Of course, if you love this project or those like this, go ahead and smash that like button and click subscribe to follow us on the latest Bailey Built Project. Until the next time, take care.